morning, you guys, and happy Christmas week. I am so tired today. Today is Monday, and I just am feeling so draggy and exhausted, so I literally chugged like a thing of like espresso. I had some leftover tea um, from yesterday. I went to my like favorite like shake shop and I, they have this like super caffeinated tea. So I drank the rest of that. Um, and then I had a little bit of liquid IV and I'm still so tired. I took my vitamins, everything. So I should not be feeling this tired, but I just am. Whew. Anyway, if anybody else is in the same boat as me, leave it in the comments below. I am like, oh, I'm struggling this week. So as you guys saw my get it all done yesterday, um, I wrapped the rest of the Christmas presents and all of my Christmas shopping is officially done for everyone. And that feels super good. I always start early and end late every single year. And I usually have to do the shopping by myself because Mike is so busy with orders. He loves Christmas shopping, but he barely gets around to shopping for me, which honestly, like I don't even care. Like I just love giving gifts. I don't even care if I don't get any gifts. Like that's not what this time of year is about. This time of year is about celebrating the true reason for the season and like being with your family and just enjoying traditions and making new traditions, old and new coming together. It's just, oh, I love it so much. And like snuggling and all the things. More stuff, Kaya's making me, this one broke apart. She's making me friendship bracelets. I've got quite a few things I need to get done, so it will be a day in the life. But I'm gonna include some cleaning and things like that because my house is a disaster. I don't know if you guys can see this. I just made myself wings, but I'm not even hungry, so they're like sitting there. I need to put them in the fridge so I can reheat them for later. I'm just not hungry right now, so I'm not gonna force myself to eat. Um, and I have a sink full of dishes, as usual, always have a sink full of dishes. Um, and then I also have to start like staging stuff as far as like Christmas groceries and things like that um, for um, the Christmas break. So anyway, I just also this morning I sat down and ordered the rest of my Christmas groceries. Now, um, I went to Sam's Club. I just um, like re-upped my Sam's Club membership because I like getting my wings from there. And I'm so sad, like the one reason I got my Sam's membership again was to get wings, but they just like have a bigger bag of wings for cheaper at Sam's versus Costco. So anyway, I went to Sam's Club, grabbed a few things. We are going to clean and I'm getting all of the things done and staged for Christmas this week. Leave it in the comments down below. What are you guys doing to prep for Christmas this week? I am also, tomorrow I'm going to be doing some um, Christmas baking, some like super simple Christmas baking, like Oreo balls, just like the really simple stuff. Um, especially since I can't really have any of it on keto. I don't want to like, I don't want to have all of these sweet treats in front of me, which I don't even crave sweets until I can't have them. And then I'm like, or if I'm pregnant, I crave them. But if I'm on keto, I tend to crave sweet things more just because I can't have them. But anyway, okay, Kai's taking pictures. I'm gonna scoot, we're gonna clean up the house, get everything ready to go. For Christmas this week, I am in the holiday spirit. Now I need to go blast some Christmas music. Hold up, I am on my way, I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling
Go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Mm-mm, so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you Mm-mm, so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Making plans for what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya yeah, I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon Not till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Mm-mm, so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you Mm-mm, so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Love and so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you
So tonight I have an appointment to um, get my lashes done. It's been like three weeks because I missed my other appointment um, because Mike was super busy. So he couldn't watch the kids for me. So tonight my mother-in-law is coming over so I can get my lashes done. Um, anyway, okay, so I always, when I get new rugs, like I got a question on this in my video where I was talking about my new rug from Rugs USA. So wool rugs, especially shag wool rugs, are going to shed no matter what brand you get, they're going to shed for the first year or so. Um, and then they will become less shedding. So they just go through this one year shedding phase. We had our last rug for about three years, a little over three years. And it would have been in fabulous shape still, except um, it was balding from just like the kids and the dogs, like the dogs got a hold of it and ripped several, or like not ripped, but like, just chewed out several holes in that rug. Like, ate the rug down to baldness. So that's why we had to replace it. It wasn't because it was bad quality, it was great quality. Um, and I highly, highly recommend <laughs> Rugs USA just because they run awesome sales. This was not sponsored, but I always find my rugs for way cheaper on there. Um, I absolutely love them. Make sure that you go and read the reviews because you know with any website there's still going to be like maybe some ones that aren't so great. Um, I have, there's only been like one rug that I've ordered from Rugs USA where it was not what I was expecting. But I also thoroughly research it before I buy it. So I look at the customer images, I look at the reviews. Just keep in mind um, some of these like shaggier rugs if it says Oh my gosh, it sheds. Like, don't let that scare you away because that person probably just didn't know that a wool fuzzy rug is going to go through a one year shedding stage. And it's not bad. Like you guys saw, it just, just ends up on my leggings like when I lean down on it. Um, and it does like cling to my leggings, but I don't see it on the kids. Like the kids is, um, the kids' clothes, they're never covered in it. It's only me when I'm wearing like the athletic wear leggings. Anyway, I, yeah, it hasn't really bothered us. It's only like when I'm deep cleaning or like sitting on that rug and rolling around in it that I notice that it sheds on me. But anyway, I still think that it is an amazing quality rug, well worth the price. And I really like to have that shag and like that just like cozy, comfy, um, feel for the kids when they're playing on the rug and stuff. So anyways, be patient with your wool rugs They will stop Shedding eventually there are like a couple more things that I need to get done So by the way the house like how messy it was. I mean it was disgusting That was one day I cleaned Mike and I cleaned on Saturday night before we had dinner with his parents Okay, so spotless on Saturday night at like 6 p.m and we did not clean yesterday. I was gone most of the day with the kids, and now it's three o'clock, like about three o'clock now on Monday, so all of that was just from like in the morning yesterday and today, and like last night after we got home from errands. That was all from that. So I just, the only reason why I share that is because I want you guys to see like my house is not constantly clean. It is clean maybe for five minutes and then it's a complete disaster again. Like I cannot keep up with it. And now like I I can't keep up with it. I know that my cupboards need like a really good deep clean again. I do that once every other week. I have to wipe everything down, especially now with Raker being older. He's like getting into those terrible twos and he wants to like get into everything in the cupboards. So his little grainy hands are always on those, on those cupboards um, and yeah there's just spilled, spilled stuff all over them it's drives me crazy but um anyways i so i do need to like deep clean the fronts of the cupboards i need to do a good like organize i'm gonna do a pantry and like kitchen cupboard 
organizational video for you guys in early January and then I am going to like implement some new organizing things in there um, and then like give you guys updates and tell you guys how well they're working so anyway stay tuned for that video um, so my goal for like my organizing videos is basically like do you see this mess that the insanity that all of us mamas truly understand and know the organizing that I do I'm trying to eliminate that i'm trying as much as i possibly can trying to eliminate like just like the chaos and the clutter um which can be really hard when you don't have a playroom like we don't have a playroom so i just i need to implement good organizational um like methods for the kids toys and for like all this junk my junk drawer i implemented an organizational method and let's show you the real real <laughs> okay Here's my junk drawer. By the way, this is, I wanted to keep this nice, but the kids destroyed it. This is like of my skin, ugh, um, from like my facial on Saturday. But look, this is my junk drawer. It is not organized anymore. The baskets are still there, but it is not organized anymore. For any like real life stuff, showing you, even though I do implement these organizational things, sometimes they are not like perfect. So. Somebody's like, oh my gosh, she must have her stuff together. Like, look how organized that drawer is. Okay, there's the reality of it. It, it didn't stay organized for very long. Um, and I'm gonna have to keep reorganizing it over and over and over again in order to stay on top of it. <laughs> and I don't. So I do that once every like six months, but. All right, you guys, I'm going to end the video there for today. I was going to include a recipe for that keto chicken but i will include it in tomorrow's video and i will do a cook and bake with me i need to do some christmas baking and i will record the meals over the next couple of days for you guys to show you what those look like and like how i ketofy them so that is going to wrap it up from me for today if you guys are new here i'd love if you consider subscribing i do lots of daily lifestyle content just like all the mommy motivation in like cleaning and decorating and homemaking and losing the weight and like all of the things and i keep it very real so i would love if you join my little family here on youtube and join me over on instagram as well i will see you tomorrow for that cook and bake with me okay bye guys